Hi everyone, it's Kate. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to 3D print your own print in place 3D printed sword. So you can see here, these swords are super fun to print. And um, I want to show you exactly the steps that I use to print a 3D printed sword with my Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. These steps will be pretty similar with most 3D printers. Um, so I hope it'll be applicable to people who have different printers. I do love my printer though for printing these print in place models. So I'm going to show you exactly how I found the sword uh, model online, um, how I sliced it and then uploaded it to my printer to be able to print. All right, so now I'm going to show you exactly how I found a sword model to uh, print on my 3D printer. The website that I like to use is printables.com. I find they have a really nice selection and I like that they have really nice photos for a lot of their prints. There's also thingiverse.com, which is a popular 3D printing website where you can find free models to print. So you can look through this website and see there's tons of different 3D models to print, but I'm going to use this search function to find a sword model. I'm specifically interested in a collapsing sword, one that can expand and prints in place. So I'm going to look for that. So you can see immediately that there's tons of options here and I can scroll down and look to see what piques my interest. One thing that I think is worthwhile noting is the likes and reviews. So if there's if someone has printed a model and it has problems, then they might leave it a poor review. Um, so example, this one has 3.3. We just have to go in and see what problems people were having with the print. Um, whereas this, these, this one here, 4.9 and lots of different likes. Same with this one, tons of likes and really high rating. That just means that most people who made the model were successful. Again, if something gets a bad rating, it might be related to the user or their printer settings. So you kind of have to go in and search. So I'm going to make this one, the collapsing pirate sword. It's got a lot of likes and high ratings. And if I click on it here, um, what's cool is that I can scroll down here and see the makes and comments. So you can see how people have made this sword and how it's turned out. You can see feedback. So this one, it took about 10 hours for that person. Um, this person is commenting that they couldn't get the pieces to actually fall out because their printer had some issues. Um, same here with this one. So again, some people will help you troubleshoot if you have errors on your print um, and you can, and they can tell you about the best settings that they used to make this print successful. So I find that that's a really helpful part of this website. So if I want to print and make this collapsing pirate sword, I'm going to click download here. It's going to take me to the model file and I'll look at that STL file. That is the uh, 3d model file. So I'm going to download that to my computer. Now what I'm going to do is take you over to my slicing software because slicing is the next step in uh, getting a print ready for your 3D printer. All right, so this is my Elegoo Cura. So this is, uh, Cura is a really common slicing software, very popular slicing software by Ultimaker. And Elegoo Cura is specific to the Elegoo brand of 3D printers. So I've opened this up and I'm going to now click open file and open that collapsing sword STL file here. And so then you'll see the sword placed on my virtual print bed here. And now I can see if there's any settings that I uh, want to adjust. So I already have the standard preset settings for the Neptune 3 Pro and Neptune 4 on my Elegoo Cura. I'm gonna be using the Neptune 3 Pro to print this one today. And I've got it set for generic PLA, which I'm going to be using PLA, but I could change it to, for example, um, PETG or another type of filament if I was using something different. And then I have it set for the normal profile, which is uh, 0.2 millimeters height. And I haven't had any issues with printing these print in place models with my printer. My printer is very well tuned and I have had great results with it. The only thing that I might look to with this print in place model is the build plate adhesion. I already have it set to none, but I believe that the standard settings um, will put a 
brim or even sometimes a raft on your printer. Brim is a small amount of PLA around the edges of your print and a raft is a layer of PLA under your print. I don't like to use either of these two when I'm doing a print in place model like this because I find it's hard to peel off my print without some issues and I also find it prints perfectly well without any build plate adhesion. So I don't use those settings. You can of course see what works best for you and your printer. So now what I'm going to do is press slice and it's going to go through and slice this print. Slicing um, will essentially create a code for your 3D printer to tell the 3D printer exactly how to layer the melted plastic um, layer by layer to create this sword. And um, this process can sometimes take a few minutes on my computer. Once it's done, then I am going to save that slice file, that G code file to my SD card or a USB drive or whatever works for my printer and uh, then bring it over to the printer. Okay, so I am going to use this really nice red filament for my sword. I think it's gonna look great. So I'm gonna load this filament up and I'm going to level my printer and print this sword. All right, so I've got my SD card in the printer and I want to show you how I select the print. So I go here to print and then I just click to the side here until I find my um, print model. So I've got the collapsing pirate sword here and then it will tell me the time. I'm currently on my Elegoo Neptune 4, so this is going to be a faster print on the Neptune 3 Pro. It'll be longer because the Elegoo 4 prints faster. Press confirm and then we're ready to print. All right, so the 3D printed sword is now on the bed. I did already peel it off just to make it a little bit easier. So you can see here this print in place. Um, so all the parts just slide out like this. And what I love about this Elegoo printer is how easy these print in place models turn out. I didn't have to do anything. Um, honestly, these pieces just came out with just a quick flick of the wrist. So I'll just make sure I do it properly quick flick of the wrist and you have your sword. And then if you wanna go back in, you can go like this. So super fun, love these sword models. And I've had really good success making them with my um, Neptune 3 Pro. Happy with how this turned out, um, love the color. And I think my kids are gonna really love playing with it. So I hope you have good luck with printing your first 3D printed sword. And don't forget to drop into the comments with any questions. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more 3D printing content.